Hi everybody. Today we are going to start a new chapter in maths, and that is decimals. Now, before we go ahead with decimals, we must understand what are decimals. Okay? A decimal is a point. Remember, a point or a dot used to separate the whole part of a number, whole part of a number, or you can say whole number. From the fractional part of a number. Okay, just remember this and explain later what else. Okay, so what are decimals? A decimal is a point or a dot used to separate the whole number from the fractional part of a number. Now, oh, you must be thinking decimals. We use it in our everyday lives. Where do you use it? When you are dealing with money. For example, we say 100 rupees 50 paise. Okay, so we put a point or a dot, as I said, it separates a whole number and the fractional part of a number. In weights, when you go to the shop to buy potatoes or sugar, you say 1 kg 200 grams. So it is separating the bigger unit from a smaller unit. Then length means when you are travelling or a distance, when you are measuring something okay, you will see 2 kilometers, 200 meters or you are supposed to reach when you use a GPS navigator okay, it will show you are about to reach your destination 200.5 meters they will say is left the word decimal comes from a Latin word okay, decimus what does it mean? Tenth or the root word that is decum which means ten. So that is why whenever you see the word decimal it comes from these Latin words and what does it mean? Tenth or ten. Now you have seen in Olympics the events in TV there is an event called decathlon. Again, it has something to do with 10. Now, what does decathlon mean? An athlete, means a sports person, has to take part in 10 events. Okay, what are the 10 events? 4 running events, 3 jumping events, and 3 throwing events. So, when you add this, in total, there are 10 events. Okay, so decimal is associated with 10. Tenth, okay, remember that. Now, the, to understand decimal, you must know your place value system. That is very important. Okay? If you know your place value system, then decimals become easy. Now, the place value system is used to determine the position of a number, which helps to determine its value. When we write a specific number, the position of each digit is important. For example, you can see an example I have written down here. Okay, 576. I have said, I've kept gaps because I need to write something. Now, when you say 576, 6 comes under 1s, 7 tens, okay, 5 hundreds. Okay, now when you go towards your left hand side, it becomes 10 times bigger. Tens is 10 times bigger than 1, hundreds is 10 times bigger than Tens. So as you move towards your left, the figure becomes bigger. Now as you move towards your right hand side, you can see the arrow showing, it becomes 10 times smaller. Tens is 10 times smaller than hundreds. Ones is 10 times. So like this, it follows. Okay. Now, so what is something smaller than ones? Now, if I have a number here, 576, can you have something smaller than this? Smaller than 6? Okay, 6 is 1's. So, can you have something smaller than 6? Or 10 times smaller than 1's? If you read this figure, you say 576. Can you have something smaller than this? If I write a number there, okay, if I write a number, say 1. 
then what happens this total number changes the figure changes it becomes 5761 before it was 576 now I added another number does it become smaller no so how does it become smaller when I put a point here a decimal point ok so then this figure remains the same ok this figure remains the same 576.1 so this point also needs a place this is ones ok this is hundreds ok and this is thousands then this also needs a place value so what is this place value? one tenth or tenth not tens this seven we call it as tens tens and this one after the decimal point is called tenth remember this and then it follows the next if I put another number three this becomes one hundred three hundredth okay hundredth place then thousandth place okay I'll show you later the place value chart remember the digit after or following the decimal point shows a value smaller than once so the digits following after this is the point here so following after this these values are smaller than ones ok so in fact 3 1 100 is also smaller than this so as you move towards your right hand side the value keeps becoming smaller 10 times smaller you move towards your left hand side it becomes 10 times bigger remember this now this is a place value chart you can see the decimal what does the decimal do it is it is a separator ok it is a separator it can be called as a separator it separates a whole number from a fractional number in the beginning I told you what are decimals it, a decimal is a dot it is a dot here it is separating a whole number from a fractional number Okay. Now you can see ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and it keeps going on. Now when you go to your right hand side, after the decimal point, okay, it is one tenth, not tens. See the difference. Here you have T E N T H, tens and tenth, then hundredth. This is hundred and hundredth, then thousandth. That th is always there. Remember this. This th gives you the pronunciation of one thousandth, then ten thousandth, and it goes on. Remember this. This is the place value chart, which the decimal points shows you. It separates the whole number from a fractional number. This is the separator here. This point where the point is put. Now, when I give you a number how to read a decimal number for example you have 25.3 this is easy to read it then you, the next number 476.28 you might read it as but it is incorrect the numbers after the decimal point is read separately remember this it is read as 476.28 8. Why? Because they are fractional numbers. They are not together whole numbers. They are fractional numbers. So we read it separately. Remember 476.23. Now when there is no number in front, when there is no whole number in front, we put a 0 there and read it as 0 0.357, not 357. It is read separately. 3. 0 0.357 okay so I want you to watch the video again try and understand and the next video wait for the next video where we will do addition of decimals thank you